Today we're going to talk about algebra tiles and we're going to use these algebra tiles to help us understand algebra better. And for many middle school students in sixth grade, algebra is a new, a new topic, um, something that people, that students are learning for the first time, okay? So right now you're looking at three examples of algebra tiles. Here's this tile, that tile, and that tile. Now, this is called the one tile because the area of this tile is one. This is called the x tile because the area is x. And this is called the x squared tile because for one, it is a square. And because the area is also x squared, okay? So if you're curious to figure out why, how, how we were able to get these areas right here, well, you'll want to remember that the area of any rectangle is always going to be length times width, okay? So for example, the length here is 1, the width here is 1. So to find the area, you just do 1 times 1 and you get 1. 1 times 1 equals 1, okay? 1 tile because the area is 1. Now let's take a look at this x tile. Okay, we know the length of the x tile is also 1 because... You can match this right here. You can match this and see for yourself it is 1, okay? So we know the length is 1, but the width here, hmm, width, what is the width of this side? Well, if you take these 1 tiles and you try to figure it out using these 1 tiles, you'll notice that, I mean, it's kind of almost 3, but it's not exactly 3, okay? You might think it's like 2.8 or 2.7 or 2 and 9 tenths or something like that. We don't really know, okay? And so we're, we're going to say it's unknown, okay? We don't know. It's unknown. And whenever we have something that we don't know, in algebra, we use something called a variable. So x is our unknown, all right? Isn't that interesting how we use letters? four numbers that we don't know, okay? And so the area here is one times x, length with one times x. Now, what is one times x? Well, if you look over here, one times five is five, one times eight is eight. So that means one times x has to be x. So the area of this is x, okay? This is called the x tile because the area is x. Now over here for this x squared tile, How do we find length and width? Well, you'll notice that this side right here is the same as that side right here. So if this is x, it means that this has to be x also. And in fact, it's just x all around, okay? x times x is going to be x squared or x to the second power. So that's why they call this the x squared tile because the area is x squared, all right? You'll need to, one thing, you don't need to memorize all of this stuff at the bottom. You'll just need to memorize that this is called the one tile, that this is the x tile, and this is the x to the second power tile or the x squared tile. Now let's use our knowledge to take a look at what happens when we have different tiles together, okay? so. Here, we want to think about what are two expressions for the total area of these algebra tiles, okay? So for example, oh hey, I have an x squared tile here. I have another x squared tile here. I have another x squared tile here. And we're adding because we're putting this all together, right? We want the total area. And a lot of times when we think of total, we're using addition, all right? And I have another x squared tile here, okay? Now look, I have an x tile here, I have an x tile here, and I have all these one tiles here. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, okay? Now, just looking at this, this is a good expression 
this is a good expression for that total area of these tiles okay but in algebra we don't like writing we don't really like writing all of this it's too much work that's a lot to do okay so a lot of times in algebra you'll be asked to make things simpler meaning to simplify okay so how can we simplify this and make this simpler okay one way to do it is to combine things that are alike okay we call this combining like terms you'll hear this a lot you'll hear other teachers saying this um com this idea of combining like terms okay so like for example this one these ones right here are alike and you can combine them together to make a four okay let me use a different color you can also combine these x's and you can combine it to make it 2x, two groups of x, okay? And by the way, look at look at the picture right here. Do you see two groups of x? Yeah, I see two groups of x or two sets of x, okay? And by the way, um, as you're learning algebra for the first time, don't say 2x, say two groups of x or two sets of x, okay? And have that plus sign there as well. All right. Now, we're going to combine the x squareds next. The x to the second power is next. Okay, and I hope you know this is purple right here. Now let's put these together. How many x squareds do I have? Well, I can look at the picture and I can say one, two, three, four. Or I can just say, I can look at my expression and say one, two, three, four. And in algebra, the way you write it is four x squared but remember since we're teaching since you're trying to learn how to uh since you're trying to remember this you're trying to remember this try to remember it as four groups of x squared plus two groups of x plus four do not say four x squared plus two x plus four that doesn't that doesn't help you remember that this is multiplication four groups of x squared plus two times x plus four okay actually let me say just say that again this is four times x squared plus two times x plus four and the way you remember that is if you think of groups okay so did we get two expressions yes here's one expression here's another expression we totally finished that okay hopefully this helps you with any problems that you have where you're writing expressions and you're writing a second expression that is equal to each other and in fact very important that we show that they're equal right here okay take care